Hey guys, what is going on? So I just want to give an update regarding my training and how I plan to change it here um, as I am transitioning into something a bit new, as well as I'm entering a deload this week. So basically to keep things short, I have been doing a lot of strength training specifically for the bench press over the past month. And it's been pretty tough on my recovery and my joints. And I feel like I'm kind of on the verge of injury and uh, I just don't want to push it to that level. So I've had this kind of arbitrary goal of hitting a 405 bench by the end of the year, but ultimately I'm making progress one way or another. And I'd much rather stay on that route as opposed to potentially get injured or potentially feel, you know, like I didn't achieve my goal if I, you know, were to take a different path or whatever, right? I just ultimately want to keep progressing. And I feel like for one, that requires a deload because I'm feeling pretty beat up. My joints aren't feeling the greatest, specifically from doing a lot of close grip bench. My wrists are starting to have issues. My elbow has been having issues for a few weeks now. And um, when I go really close on my bench, I have this issue um, in between my shoulder and my chest. So basically, you know, I'm still able to do the lifts. They're just a little bit painful. And I definitely do not want to get injured because last time that happened, I basically uh, had to take time off lose some muscle, accumulate some fat, and I was forced into a cut. And it was just a period of regression. And I want constant progression, right? So I'm taking this deload. I think it'll help me um, recover. I think it'll help me achieve my goals. And it might even be the fastest you know, route to success. Um, but even if it's not, I would much rather have a, you know, better opportunity to stay safe and healthy and everything like that. And so that's the route that I'm choosing. So going to be entering a deload and basically i have been reading um some stuff about cal deets so if you're not familiar with him he talks about uh triphasic training which is basically just dedicating certain portions um of your training to different parts of the movement right so for example you would have a you know two four week however long you want to do it period where you are training eccentric movements where you're focusing on you know lowering the weight um, slowly and focusing on that. And then you have an isometric portion, um, which is just dealing with, you know, holding weight steady. And a lot of times this is kind of at the bottom of the movement with a pause. Um, it is obviously different for different exercises. And then ultimately you transfer that new ability to, um, you know, be able to produce that force with the higher eccentric loading and the ability to produce maximal force at your designated area, which is a lot of times the bottom of the lift, you learn how to utilize that in the concentric portion of the movement throughout the entire process. But specifically, there is a concentric phase as well. So um, I'm pretty familiar with Cal Dietz, but not necessarily in terms of me implementing any of his training practices, but just more so I went to the college that he is a coach at, right? So he helps with... Um, with a lot of things at the U of M, which is where I went. I actually live very close to there. And um, he's basically like a world-class strength and conditioning coach. And I find that I agree with a lot of stuff that he says, and I want to start implementing a lot of that stuff. I've kind of come to a lot of the same conclusions that he has in my own training and realizing what works for me and what didn't work for me. And then seeing him basically kind of reaffirm a lot of the stuff that I believe in terms of more specifically, uh, you know, strength and conditioning type of stuff as opposed to like bodybuilding, but uh, still very much applies to strength in general, which obviously the bench press is a form of strength and obviously power and stuff like that. So I'm planning to implement that style of training um, when I come back from my deload. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And um, maybe one day I'll be able to actually like work with him considering I live extremely close to where he works. Um, but even if not, I feel like he is a very good, uh, you know, example of being able to utilize different, uh, training practices that aren't, ne aren't necessarily traditional to achieve, you know, a lot of strength, power, um, overall coordination, stuff like that. And that's something that I'm looking to implement into my training, uh, specifically with the strength training aspect of kind of, I do a, I do a similar thing where I separate my training into different phases, but I only do like hypertrophy versus strength training. So um, to dedicate my strength training to a much more specific, much more kind of planned thing, 
um, I think is going to be beneficial for me. So that's what I'm planning to do here in the future um, when I come off of my deload and we will see how that ends up working. But hopefully that will allow me to hit the 405 bench by the end of the year. Um, but I will be starting in the eccentric phase when I get back from my deload. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.